Here at Tom Slick again. Today is March 10th. They should be on here pretty much no matter what, really. No matter what the water temperature is or whatever. I mean, they gotta move up at some point. So, they should be on here, but as you can tell, the place is packed. I had to park over there in the overflow parking. There's people parking up on the sidewalk and everything over here, so. It's probably gonna be company fishing down there, so. We'll see how it goes. As you can probably hear in the audio, it's pretty windy today too, so. And of course, got overcast right before I came over here. This is just a quick little afternoon trip. It is pretty late in the afternoon though, so we'll see. Fish sitting on the bed over here. Can't tell how good he is. He looks decent, but God, I'm gonna have a heck of a time pitching to him. Uh, i have to clear some of this stuff out first, actually. I'm gonna have to for sure. Oh, yeah, he's turning on my bait already. <laughs> wow, I landed pretty much right on top of him. And he didn't spook off. He spun around on it, so that's a good sign. Light is weird. I can see my bait, but I can't see the fish. I think he can. He's right on top of it, actually. Yep. Right behind it. Uh, he's kind of staying in the center right there. Oop. Yep. Landed right in front of him. And he rolled on it. Looks like a decent fish, too. Ah, that bed's so small, though. It's hard to keep it in there. He likes the big movements, too, so... It's hard to keep it in his zone for very long. Well, he's not reacting well anymore. I'm gonna get down here, see if I can maybe see him a little better. I don't know. Maybe possibly see another bed over here too. This is a nice little bed right there. As you can see, the fish is not around it right now, but I am pretty much right on top of him. Try to get in this little crevice right here and chill for a second and see if he'll come around. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Comes right in the middle of the bed pretty quick. Ah, uh, see, I can see him from here. He might have been doing that the whole time, going off in that dark and spinning around and I couldn't see. Anyway. Now he's right on my bait. Come on, fish. He's just chilling right there. See, from over there, if he was where he is right now, I couldn't even see him, so... I think this is a better shot, actually, even though I'm this much closer. I think it's more of an advantage being able to see how he's reacting and where he's sitting. Oh, 
not going to say. Okay. Yeah. circling it. Eyeballing it. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Get it. Oh, oh. Got the tail just barely. I'm sure he opened his mouth when he touched it. <laughs> oh, got him. Just hopped it right in front of his face and he ate it. <laughs> nice little meal. I'll take that for sure. Fun one to catch off of a bed all day. Healthy little dude. Doesn't look like he's ever been hooked. Thank you, buddy. That was fun. The bed on top of that rock right there. Glowing pretty good, but I didn't see anything around it when I walked up to it. I haven't seen it to come back to it, but from over here I can see this fish on the other side of this boulder that was skirting me earlier, going behind the boulder. So I wonder if I'm from this position with a crawdad lure too. Instead of that white worm, more natural. I wonder if I can get him to eat from over here. I'm gonna give it a try here for a second. That might be his bed actually behind that boulder right there. I mean, there's just, there's so much that looks like it's bed around here. Ah, that wasn't good. Let's not try that again. Oop. I did spook him over to what I believe is his bed, though. <laughs> Cause he went right to it there and almost ate it. Oh, yep, yeah, this is his bed over here. This is his bed over here. He ran at it hard there. Tried to eat it the first time. I mean, opened his mouth and everything. And then he just ran at it real hard there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His fins are all... His fins are all going. When, they start, when their tail starts going like that, they're, they're getting going. Pop it right in front of his face right here. I think he's gonna get it. Oh, oh, he ran at it so hard. That was crazy. Wow. Yeah, this one's angry now. Oh, yeah, hit him. Spun around on him immediately. You know what? This is my throw little worm now. We got him all heated up. I think that little worm's gonna catch him pretty quick. I'll go back to the crawdad. He was reacting better on that, honestly. I'm just going to shorten it up a little bit. One of these that's already used. Not that one. No pinchers actually. I think he'll react on just that natural color, so no pinchers. Bite that first section off, so. guys are arguing over there why they can't catch a fish on a bed, I'm sure. <laughs> Just talking about reeling it in too fast, why didn't let it sit there. Sounds like many an argument I've seen. Well, and been part of. <laughs> anyway, here we go on this little dude. Come on. Oh, oh, wow. Gosh, he runs hard at that. See, I think it's that natural crawdad color he sees, and he just can't stand it. He came all the way around the boulder there. Look at that. <laughs> that was crazy. Look at it. He's running all the way up here for it. This is nuts. And this crawdad pattern. Oh, got him. 
here you go. See? I knew it. I knew he was going to get that crawdad. Just that little piece. It's crawdad color. Not even a full crawdad. That'll get him. A lot of times. Even bigger fish. I mean, it works a lot on small fish, obviously, because the mouth is so small and they can get a real small piece of your bait easy, but it works on big fish, too. Just got this fishing line tangled around my foot here. While I was about to walk back. It's real nice to leave laying around people. Come on. Please pick up after yourselves. It's a little bit ridiculous. Actually, it's not a little bit ridiculous. It's a lot ridiculous. Doesn't take anything to do that right there, what I just did. Oh, and again, picking up after other people. This is why fishing gets disallowed at so many places, because fishermen leave so much stuff around. Oh, unfortunately, it will never stop, but please do your part to minimize it. Ooh, there's a fish on a bed right there in this corner. Looks like a decent one. It's not moving, he's sitting right there in this crack. Pretty sure that's a bed right there he's sitting on too. Oh yeah, he's looking at my bait. Oh yeah, going down to it. Gosh, I can't see my bait, really. I can see him. crawled right under him. He didn't really do anything, but he did whip around there when I moved it out quick. Yeah, this might be one of those ones where you gotta just irritate him real bad. He's not moving, but he's not really reacting either. Wow. <laughs> he reacts a little bit when I go to reel it up. Which I've had him do before. I mean, you can still catch him, because they will react on big hops, not just when you're reeling it out of bed. But it can take a little while, so this one might be difficult. Probably the last one I catch today. If I catch him, that is. Gosh, he's so hard to see, too. He's so light colored. Yeah. Yeah, turned on it there. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. He's whipping around on it and stuff. Definitely didn't like that bump. I think his bed might be even further up in the corner though. He keeps sticking his nose right in this corner. Oh, he nipped at it right there. He nipped at it. This is going to have to be a lot of pitches on this one, I think. He whoops around on it pretty quick, but then he doesn't eat. Kind of like that one earlier. Come on, I let this dog mess up my dead fish. Oh, 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 he's got a claw. Oh, he had a claw for a second there. All over it, but I can't see. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go to that white worm. I think he's hot enough for we'll eat that white worm now. Don't really need natural. Yeah, that's where he doesn't like it. That's where he doesn't like it is that corner. So I'm gonna switch to that little crawdad with no pinchers actually, just that crawdad color deal. Try to fire him up that way. See, so he whips around on it when I hit him and then it goes out of the bed though, because it slides off the edge of the rock. That's the problem. Try to get real close to him, so we're gonna just dangle it right in front of his face. Hope he doesn't go away. Maybe at this point he won't, because he's so hot. Can't believe this fish isn't reacting on this right now. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe it's 
it's still not realistic enough. I'm gonna put the crawdad on there with the flappers. Full size crawdad. Well, with the back bitten off only. Still with the flappers on it. Like he's getting fired up. Wow. That's crazy. I'm gonna try a little bit different colored uh bait I've got here. I'm not sure why it would make a difference, but I don't know. I'm just gonna try it at this point because this fish is acting pretty weird. I'm gonna put a little baby brush hog on here. Uh, the tips chartreuse, of course. <laughs> this fish is crazy. I can rub all over him and he will not leave. But he won't just commit either. It's getting darker and he should be seeing me less, even as I'm seeing him less, so it might be good for me that it's getting darker right now but can't seem to get this dude to react come on fish you gotta be kidding me how jacked up he gets and doesn't eat this Eat it. Oh, I don't know if he ate it or not. I couldn't see my bait anymore. Oh, I tried to eat it there. I tried to eat it and he missed it. There we go. Now I That sucker took forever. There we go. That's a pretty nice one for this little pond. Now that one was not difficult to pitch to. Not really too difficult to see. It was difficult at first, but after I could get right on top of him, after I knew I could do that, it was pretty easy, but one thing he definitely took was a whole lot of patience. I worked on that fish for a long, long time, maybe an hour before I caught it, but it's a nice little chunk. That was fun. There's a fish right there. Looks like it's looking at a bed. Oh, there's two of them. It's a better one that I saw first, and I saw another smaller one. Oh, not another smaller one. Yeah. I'm not sure they're. Real locked on though, everything kind of ran away. Well, I don't know. There's the better one coming back, actually. You know what? I'm gonna switch to a white bait so I can see better. I'll try to get these fish very quickly. Helicopter making for great audio, I'm sure. Woo. I think he had it for a second. I didn't know, and then he spit it out before I set the hook on him. Dang it. This is another one. You just got to keep making repeated casts at him. He doesn't like the big hops and when it's coming in, so. 
That's what you gotta stick to doing. You don't wanna waste so much time just waiting. Oh, he's nipping at it, nipping at it. Got it. Oh! That time he had the whole bait. I don't know what happened there. rolling all over it and not eating it right now. Come on, fish. I don't have time for this. Got him there. Ate it for sure. There we go. Still managed to hook him from the outside in somehow. Even though I saw the bait go completely gone <laughs> long skinny one definitely a male there he will go back to his bed eventually but I'm gonna let him go over here so it takes a little bit for him to find it so I can maybe catch that female real quick <laughs> Dude, look at that. Fish. Again, what a freaking spot and stock and catch. And look at the freaking belly Girth on that on thing. That bass. Oh my god, dude.